Heading into medical school, I knew that it was gonna be challenging, so I came up with these five rules to maintain balance and to help me succeed moving forward. And today I wanted to share them with you so that if you want, you can implement them in your life as well. Let's go. Rule number one, school comes first, plain and simple. This is the reason that I'm here in Chicago. I worked my tail off to be here. I've made many sacrifices and I'll be damned if I let this opportunity pass me by because I was busy screwing around doing something else. I am focusing on other things as well and doing my best to maintain life balance, but this was a really important point for me to clarify with myself before starting. So I had a heart to heart with myself and I said, Keep doing the things that you love because that's really important as well. But when time gets tight and you have to trim the fat, school comes first. Rule number two, seven hours of sleep minimum. So we have a pretty solid understanding of the benefits of sleep on maintaining physical, mental, and emotional well-being, but it also plays a crucial role in learning. Getting enough high quality sleep helps facilitate the transfer of newly learned information to long-term storage in the brain. So in other words, when you go to bed tonight, sleep will help you retain the information that you learned today, but furthermore, it will also prime your brain for new learning tomorrow. With this awareness in mind, sleep is a high priority on my list and one that I rarely make an exception for. I understand that residency will necessitate a little more flexibility here, but one step at a time. Rule number three, exercise is non-negotiable. Similar to sleep, the learning benefits stemming from exercise are widely known, or at least they should be. And not only do I wanna be a more effective learner, I also wanna maintain my physical and mental health as well. And alongside sleep, exercise is one of the absolute best things that you can do for this. Now, exercise is non-negotiable. What exactly does that mean? How much am I actually exercising? I aim to exercise every day in some form or fashion. For me, that's lifting weights, jujitsu, running. I actually just took up Muay Thai as well. And if my schedule is really tight and I don't necessarily have an hour to get away to the gym, I'll just go for a quick run or do some calisthenics in my apartment here. And I will take a rest day periodically if my schedule's really tight or if I just need a break but exercise is huge and for that reason, I make it a non-negotiable part of my schedule. Rule number four is at least one night off per week. And this doesn't have to be at night, it's the activity, not the time. But what it means for me is taking an opportunity to fully unplug from studying and actually taking a break. And that break can be whatever I need it to be. It can be staying home and watching a movie or going out and socializing with friends. For example, yesterday we got a small group together for a cookout and leading up to that, honestly, I was studying so much that my brain was kind of fried. So that allowed me to take a nice little break and to effectively reset so when I came back today, I was able to get through all of my study material that I needed to without a hitch. Maintaining consistency and discipline in studying is important to me, but it's also easy to get wrapped up in that. So this rule is big in helping me maintain balance. Rule number five is just comprised of guidelines for the first four. The first one being that these rules are hierarchical. So they're all important, but as we know, life isn't perfect. And as you encounter new environments and scenarios, we need to adapt. As such, they're listed in order of importance from one to four. Lesser rules may temporarily be ignored to meet the demands of greater rules. Although if that's occurring too frequently, then I need to reevaluate my daily routines or potentially circle back and amend the rules. And I'll leave you with this. Sometimes some rules are meant to be bent, other times broken. Knowing when that's appropriate is up to you. Thanks for watching. If you got something out of this, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and drop a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one.